things that freed us from our genes were also the result of natural selection. And it all began millions of years ago in Africa. At the time, humans were still prey. Surrounded by predators, we evolved survival tools. And the most important of these was the brain. Natural selection drove the development of the human brain. It did so with no more purpose than it drove the development of the tail of the peacock or the speed of the cheetah. A genetic advantage was rewarded and our brains got bigger. They didn't just get bigger, they became different. We evolved the ability to do something no other animal could do, set goals. Find a new waterhole, plan a hunt, set aside food for the winter and we learnt to adapt and change our goals. What natural selection built into us in Africa was the capacity to seek, to strive, to set up short-term goals in the service of long-term goals. Eventually, the capacity for foresight. Bigger brains allowed individual ancestors to compete more effectively. And then, something unprecedented happened. A brain arose which was able to look around the world and ask, perhaps for the very first time, the question, why? Why are we here? We were no longer content to do what nature told us. We had begun to think about other goals that suited us. And we had a tool to express those goals. Language. Speech lets us share goals. And a creature able to communicate its goals begins to think purposefully, act purposefully, create purposefully. And even more amazing, through language, our goals can take on a life beyond any one individual. One inventor can produce the wheel. Using language, generations of inventors sharing the goal of fast travel can produce the modern car. Technology is human goal-seeking writ large. And once human beings set themselves to a goal, they force the pace of evolution themselves. This is an entirely new kind of evolution, non-genetic evolution advancing at a speed that may be a million times faster than the genetic evolution which it resembles. We see its products everywhere, in the technology of the modern world. We have created a technological world that enables us to move far beyond the dictates of nature, and it allows us to do astonishing things. We alleviate hunger with new strains of crops, predict the weather with high-speed computers, and cure diseases with pharmaceuticals. Through technology, we have filled the world with purposeful creations. But technology does something else. It breeds an odd habit of thought. An animal who invents will look at the world in a different way from any other animal. We see the world through purpose-coloured spectacles. Because we create things for a purpose, in the past we assumed that there was purposeful design in nature too. There wasn't, as it happens. It took Darwin to realise this. He looked deep into the heart of nature and discovered a beautiful mechanism which blindly simulates the illusion of purpose. For the first time, an evolved creature had seen beneath nature's veil and worked out what nature was really up to. And it's this spirit of inquiry that drove Darwin that gives our life meaning and still drives us today. Powered by our technical capacity, our flexible behaviour 
and our rapid communication of new ideas, we have burst out beyond the confines of our atmosphere to explore new worlds. December 1972. And our minds have voyaged even further. We have looked across the deserted vacuum of space to distant galaxies, which means we have looked backwards in time to the very birth of the universe and of time itself. At the other extreme, we have looked deep into the atom at the strangeness of subatomic particles. And most amazing of all, we have dissected the living cell, finally unraveling the digital codes of the genes themselves. And still, we are not satisfied. We reach out in our search for meaning, until we suddenly realize it is we who actually provide the purpose in a universe which otherwise would have none. Nothing else can do it, at least nothing we know of. In a small, otherwise unimportant corner of the universe, a birth is celebrated. The birth of deliberate purpose, planning, design, foresight. For all we know, it may be an unprecedented event. We have no evidence that it's ever occurred anywhere else. And after we are gone, it may never happen again. We can leave behind the ruthlessness, the waste, the callousness of natural selection. Our brains, our language, our technology make us capable of forward planning. We can set up new purposes of our own. And among these new goals can be the complete understanding of the universe in which we live. A new kind of purpose is abroad in the universe. It resides in us.